So I'm going to start a craft and we're going to be doing it in segments since it takes time for paint to dry, etc. So if you'd like to work along with me, I cut out a cardboard heart. It's not perfect, but who wants perfect? So that's what I'm doing first. And then using Maria's paint, bright red matte paint, I'm going to paint it red. I'm also, we are going to make a wreath, a Valentine wreath. I'm also going to paint this foam dollar store wreath form red. It's going to take me a little while, but that's first step. So let's get started. Okay, so <clears throat> next step, after we paint our foam uh, wreath form red, it's pretty much dry and I finished. I had to make a new heart out of cardboard because uh, I had a little mishap with the paint. <clears throat> so I have my heart and I put a little, poked a hole in it with my hole puncher. Okay, so I'm going to move on while I'm waiting for these to get a little drier to this piece of wood that I've had for quite some time from my son-in-law. I painted it a nice bright red with Maria's paint and I did the sides like white. It doesn't have to be perfect because I'm deciding I'm gonna to try to make something out of this board for Valentine's Day. And I don't know if you guys remember, but my son Wayne bought me this wood burning tool. And when I was cleaning out my closet, and rearranging everything because my daughter Tiffany bought and Chris purchased me, her boyfriend got me a um, craft tray. I love it. So I was organizing everything and realized that I need to make something with my wood burning tool. All right, so it's red. And then I have uh, some of my stencils. And the one that I think I'm going to use <clears throat> is this really cool stencil that has love and grit family all different cute little sayings so i am going to take the love not sure where i'm going to do, put it but i'm going to uh, put it somewhere and i'm going to use the wood carver to carve the word love into the board and then we're going to go from there so that's step two This is how you turn it on. It makes a whole lot of noise. So I have to be careful because I live in a senior apartment. But I did it and I decided, let me shut this off. I decided to write family, which came out perfect. And I did that with the wood carver for my son. And I am going to do I scotch tape it down to keep it stable instead of wood carving this huge word love I decided I'm going to paint it um, with a stencil so that's what we're going to do next so the next thing while this is drying I stenciled in love because it would be a disaster if I tried to make that kind of noise to write love with the um, wood burner so I decided not to drive people crazy and just paint in white love kind of in the center so while that's drying we are moving on to uh, this pretty gray yarn that I got from Dollar Tree I don't know when and uh, I painted this is all dry so I am going to wrap haphazardly this dark gray yarn uh, around this red wreath form and so I'm going to do that and to save time I'll be back and let's see what happens okay next guys we're going to take our yarn which you can use any color you want as long as it doesn't go crazy with the colors you know for Valentine's Day but great I had gray and that's what I'm using now I am cutting this beautiful hydrangea uh, um, flower floral that I have 
and I'm taking the little pieces and cutting them off at the stem and then placing them with hot glue on where I think they look pretty on the side and the bottom of the wreath form. So far so good, right? Uh, next, I think I'm gonna fill it up on the bottom a little more uh, with this hydrania plant. And then I think I have the heart and it's pretty dry over there. I'm waiting for the wood to dry also. Um, not quite sure what I wanna do, but I am gonna use the heart uh, for this. And I wanna incorporate some white. So over there on the floor, I have to go get those that bag of some white florals, all separates. And I'm going to incorporate some on there. I think that'll look really pretty for Valentine's Day. I love Valentine's Day because it was my grandmother's birthday. Who raised me and my two brothers and lived till a hundred, almost 104. She missed it by one month. Okay, so here we are. I'm incorporating some white florals. All different textures. I really want... Because I'm using the same uh, red floral, the hydrangeas, I just want to incorporate all different kinds of white florals, which I have a whole bag from my sister-in-law. And they're all white, different textures and colors. They have a little bit of a yellow spin to them. Can you see? And so I'm just putting some of them uh, amongst the hydrangeas. I'm going to put one there. Just use your imagination. And, and this is good because the yarn, because I can stick it, put the glue on and get it underneath the yarn and it will stay a little bit better. Oh, I have to incorporate these guys. It's looking beautiful. I love it. I, now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with the heart. I don't want to take away from the beauty of but I want it to represent Valentine's Day. But look at these gorgeous little white roses I found in the bag. They gotta go on here. So as you see, I only used one type of red flower, the hydrangeas, and I am incorporating some beautiful white tones uh, with some yellow hues, green hues with the greenery. And I have to add this little white, couple little ro baby roses. So there's all different types of white florals, and I really love this look. So now I have to figure out what I'm going to do with this heart that I cut out and painted, and I have to think about it. I did put a hole because I'm probably going to hang it, uh, and then I could take it off after Valentine's Day. We'll see. Hi, everyone. Sharon Charlie's Crafts. So we're at the end with the wreath I made. I incorporated some hydrangeas, uh, some beautiful uh, white and with the yellow hues or green hues and left this side open. Uh, if you start from the beginning, you know I wrapped it with the yarn, uh, just haphazardly I call it. I liked having all the different textures of the whites. And then I didn't like that there wasn't any <clears throat> dabs of red in the white. So I added a little bit of the red hydrangeas to the white. Now the heart I painted, which you guys saw me do. And then I took this white uh, yarn type material. I really like it. And um, I wrapped it around this heart tied it to the bottom right and what I took my white pen this pen here it's like a paint pen and I <clears throat> drew a little paw for my baby I always have a sign of Bronxy or my grand dogs Bronxy Charlie or Sparky uh, you know how much I love dogs and I will take a picture and hang it up. I am thrilled with this. I also took a piece of the twine so I can hang it up. Uh, I like the incorporation of all the different textures of flowers, roses, um, little white, I don't know what those little white flowers are, I, I, a chrysanthemum, and, I, and then keeping it simple with just the red hydrangeas. What do you guys think? 
I'm gonna hang it up, take a picture, and then we're gonna move on to my red block of wood that I've been working on, and I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna to do to the right side of it, but that'll come on the next video. I will put a picture up of this beautiful wreath. I'm thrilled with it, and I'm gonna hang it up now. Thank you.